Today's video is what you should put in your family's first aid kit. Hi, I'm Kylie, just another Army vet. Let's get the legal stuff out of the way. I am not a doctor. This is not medical advice. However, I have been an Army combat medic for 16 plus years. So this is just what I would have in my family's first aid kit. This video is just going over the content for injuries. I can make another video about what I would put in my family's medical box, which would be more like medicine and stuff for illnesses. The important thing about the first aid kit is that it's easily accessible and you know exactly where it is. It can be a plastic container or it could be, it could be an actual kit such as this. But my piece of advice is that you have a way to keep it organized, which is why this is something that would work very well. It's an old army combat life-saving bag. When it comes to bleeding control, you have things such as compressed gauze or Curlex. This is vacuum sealed, so it's not as big. And this is not, so as you can see, it's much bigger. Essentially, this could be good for wrapping up a wound or just putting direct pressure on a wound also. We have some gauze pads. I would have a couple different sizes, but again, this is good for putting pressure on a wound and just for covering up a wound. And then, of course, you have different sizes of Band-Aids and different kinds of Band-Aids. This is Telfa. It's a non-adherent pad so it will not stick to a wound. Moleskin, which would be good for blisters. Actually, the way that they have this in the illustration, that's not how you use it for blisters. So one day I can probably make a video showing how to use it for blisters, but that is incorrect. Alcohol pads would be great for cleansing things. Different size medical tape, three inch, two inch, and one inch. And then we have fox shields, which would be to cover up an eye injury. If you have a cut, then something like a first aid antibiotic, bacitration, that would be a name brand. And you could use Q-tips or sterile tip applicators to put it on the wound. Hydrocortisone cream is vast itch and rash relief. Some sort of topical anesthetic spray that can be used on some minor cuts and scrapes. You want something to write with, such as a pen and a sharpie and a, a note card or a piece of paper. That way, if you need to write down the time of a tourniquet or something like that, then you have that written down. Definitely have at least two pairs of non-latex gloves. I would have some sort of light source, either a flashlight, a pen light, or a headlamp. One-way valve mask that you could use for CPR. A bandage scissor that you can use to easily cut bandages. If you jam your finger or break it or sprain it, it would be ideal to have some sort of way to splint it. These things are great. You can probably find them at CVS. Ice packs would not go in your kit, but I would keep some in the freezer in case you need them. And of course, you never put ice or ice packs directly on the skin. You need to have some sort of cloth hand sanitizer yes then we have some ace wraps which comes in different sizes so i would have a variety of sizes and this could be good for wrapping up a sprain or something or it could be used for uh, reinforcing some sort of bandage while you were trying to stop bleeding some sort of triangle shaped bandage such as a cravat so you can make a sling out of it if you know how to use the following items which you'd probably learn in some sort of first aid class then i would keep these in your kit this is a combat application tourniquet it's a one-time use tourniquet a cat this is a soft tea tourniquet it is a multi-use tourniquet and tourniquets are used to control arterial bleeding from limbs emergency trauma dressing an etb it should be for more severe bleeding if you forget how to use an etb then there are instructions on the package and you can also catch a youtube video if i've made a video on emergency trauma dressing then it's here if you know how to seal a chest wound then a wound seal kit if you know how to splint, then a SAM splint and ACE wraps would go hand in hand with a SAM splint. Combat gauze is used for packing arterial wounds that cannot be controlled with a tourniquet. One thing that's not pictured here would be a trauma blanket. But I'm thinking if you're going to be inside the house, I think you should have access to towels and blankets. In closing, I highly encourage everyone, especially parents, to take a first aid class and to take an infant, child, and adult CPR class. It could mean the difference between life and death. If you like these kind of medical videos, then please check out this playlist right here. Please give this video a like. Thanks for watching. Signing out.